Hi there, Massimo from the Blue Root team. And in today's video, we're going to explain something that's been highly requested, and it's Zoho Vault, and specifically using the Zoho Vault extension. So passwords are becoming, I mean, it's all over the news. People are getting hacked all the time, and keeping your passwords safe, keeping them secure, and also sharing it among team members is becoming more and more important. So in today's video specifically, I'm going to show you how to set up your Vault extension uh, in the Chrome browser, but it's very similar for the other ones. I'm going to show you how to set up passwords in the best way possible so that the rest of your team don't necessarily necessarily need to see the password, but they can still log into apps. And then third, I'm going to show you how to auto log into websites using the Vault extension. So as always, if you like this video, please do like it. Feel free to comment. We respond to all the comments and turn your little notification symbol on if you subscribe. So you hear and hear about our next videos. Thanks and enjoy the video. So this is what you'll be greeted with the first time or when you log into Vault. Now, um, inside of Zoho Vault, uh, if you don't see this screen, that means you're on the old version of Vault. Now, most people should be on the new one, uh, but if you are on the old one, uh, there should be a little tab kind of around here in the top right, middle right, that will allow you to actually upgrade your version. It's free, and you'll be able to see something like this. So this is what Vault will look like. Now, if you don't have passwords in your Vault, it'll obviously look quite a bit different. But the very first step to install your Chrome extension, and in this video I'll show Chrome, it's a very similar process for Firefox and some of the others, is to go to the top right here and click on your face. When you click on your face, you'll see some of the extensions here. Now, like I said, I'm gonna be showing Chrome, but they have Firefox, Safari, Edge, uh, I'm not even sure what this one is, and then Brave, which is also a popular one. So feel free to choose whichever browser you're using, but again, I'm gonna use Chrome. So when you do this, it's gonna bring you to the Chrome Web Store. And in theory, you should have a Google Chrome account uh, that is already logged in if you're using the Chrome Web Store. Uh, but in, if you're not, it'll make you sign in and then you can go ahead and add to your Chrome. So go ahead and click that. It's just gonna give you a warning, go ahead and add. Now it's installed, or you'll see it takes a few seconds to install. And then what'll happen is it'll actually pop up up here and then disappear. Now, don't worry if it disappears. We want to bring that back. So in order to do that, you're going to go ahead and click this little extensions tab, find the Vault extension. It's typically alphabetical, and then hit the little pin. So now Vault is in your browser, which is awesome. So the next step you have to do is actually click on the Vault, and you have to authorize it to use your Zoho. So it's going to bring you to a page like this. Go ahead and authorize. You typically only have to do that once. And now Vault is live. All the passwords you see here are now also in here. Whenever you use the Vault extension, it's gonna force you to log in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And once you've logged in, you can see all your passwords. Now, I wanted to show some tips and tricks on how to make proper passwords for the web. So if I go to Yahoo, for example, yahoo.ca, I don't have an account with Yahoo. Um, so when I go ahead and hit sign in, you'll see this is showing one because I've actually signed in at yahoo.com in the past in a previous video. But if you don't have anything with Yahoo, it will show a blank or a red line. If it shows a one like this, it's telling you, oh, I see one password for Yahoo. And that's awesome. And that's a huge benefit of the web tool. So if I click this, you'll see what I mean. So here's all your passwords. You can search them if you want by name and it'll, it'll shrink. So like if I go Massimo, uh, it'll shrink to just show password. Oh, I spelled my name wrong, whoopsie. It'll shrink just to show passwords with the word Massimo in it. Now, one of the other cool things you can do is right here you can see www dot with a red one. It'll show a red two or a red six or whatever, however many passwords you have for this site. If I click this, you'll see it says domain matching. What that means is it's saying, hey, I have a Yahoo account password in the vault that I think you could use. In order to get it to do that, go to the login page of whatever site you're trying to do. Um, so in this case, I'm on Yahoo. You can click this little plus, or sorry, this little vault, and then hit the little plus here. When you go to add this password, it's gonna bring you into another tab, but you'll notice here, in the URL, it has a login link. 
that login link will actually directly hyperlink you to Yahoo, and that's what Zoho uses to auto log you in. So whenever you make these passwords where you want to be auto logged in uh, via Vault, make sure you have the sign in page, not yahoo.com, the sign in page in this URL. Then you put the username and the password, you can name it whatever you want, you can put it in whatever folder, we'll have subsequent videos on that. But this is probably the biggest point in this whole video, is to make sure you have the sign-in page. When you do that, which I have for this one password, it'll show the password like this when you click that button, and you can simply just hit here and hit log in. And what it'll do is it'll throw the email in, then it'll throw the password in, whatever the username and password were, and try to log you in. Now, I don't actually have a real Yahoo account. I made this as a trial for this video. But this is the key point. And when you make these passwords now, so if I go back to the vault here, and I go to Yahoo, I just search Yahoo, what you can actually do when you hit share is other people on your team, for example, you can just grant one-click login only. And what that means is they cannot see the password. All they can do is go to Yahoo and hit that little circle with the arrow in it to log in. That's the limit of their um, uh, uh, privacy. So that is really key. If you have very sensitive passwords, go ahead and make them yourself. Go ahead and add them into the vault with the URL, and then you can share with the rest of your team simply by um, just giving one-click login only. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, there will be more to come. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and uh, we'll see you soon. Cheers.